Hi, I'm Joe Pellegrino, the founder and president of Legacy Mind and Men, and I'm here with my friend, Roland Hearsink, the founder of God and Work Ministries, also the author of several books, including Two Words from God for the Legacy Mind and Man. Roland, welcome. Well, thank you, Joe. So Roland, uh, it's interesting. You've, you wrote a book called How to Be a Christian at Work, and you sent it to me. You found me on LinkedIn, and you said, please read it. And to be honest with you, it was, it was on my shelf for a while. But when I took it down, I started looking at it and saying, dang, this is, this is really a good book. But there were two words that you focused on. And, and those two words, quite frankly, I didn't see as being manly. Why don't you tell us what those two words are and, and give me the inspiration for those two words. Okay, yeah, the two words uh, kind of happened by accident. Uh, let's call it divine inspiration, that sounds better. Where uh, I've been writing this book with a theologian on how to be a Christian at work. The mission being, People go to work, Christians go to work, you and I go to work, and we think we're doing the right thing for God, but we don't really have any guidance. We go to church on Sunday, we hear a message, but work is a completely different space. And so in writing this book, we came up with these two words, chapter one and chapter three. They weren't the focus of the book, but they were in the book. And the first word was be nicer. So as a Christian, it's important to be nicer, and we'll uncover that in this book, in this series. And the second one was to bless others. Nicer is focusing on our character, Blessing others is focusing on how we execute God's will in our life. So tell me, what was the genesis of all this, uh, all your books, specifically how to be a Christian at work? What was the genesis of that? I was kicking around for things to do after retiring, and uh, one of the people in our church was a theologian at the local seminary, and he approached me and asked me for some business advice. And <clears throat> for whatever reason, I just thought, you know, God put it on my heart to to try and write a book, and I've been trying to write for a year about work and Christianity, and I just asked him, hey, do you want to write a book together? And to my surprise, he said yes, and we just, I gave him the outline for my, the workshops I'd been doing, and next thing you know, we just uh, pulled together a book within a space of a year and published it and used it as a reference guide in our God and Work workshops. But the two key words that I found in giving those workshops, the highlight of the book, the highlight of the whole ministry actually is, is a very simple thing of being nicer and blessing others. But it's really nicer and bless. Yes. Okay, nice. those, are, those are the two words. So what kind of reaction did you get to the book? Uh, the book was a kind of a lukewarm reaction. It's a reference, reference guide. It was written mostly to help pastors understand the position we give in our workshops. So it was never intended to be a bestseller. But when we do the workshop and we give it, we give it to people, there's so much meat in there, you know, six ways to know if you're in the right job, five ways to understand God's will, three ways for that, four ways for that, and then we have these two words mm -hmm. with each five ways, five ways to be nicer and five ways to bless others. Mm -hmm. And that ended up being the highlight, and it was such a positive reaction that I wrote another book specifically for work, again, two words from God for you at your work, and then I, when you read the book, I thought, well, let's do a men's flavor. Mm -hmm. Why not? Because these words apply to everybody's life. Mm -hmm. Every man out there needs to understand what it means to be nicer in their life and what it means to bless others. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's so simple and so powerful. And I'll tell you, when I, when I started to grasp the concept and we started to work together and, and you basically asked me, contribute some stories and maybe we can go through and edit it together. And that's what we did. I mean, it came out awesome. And it's so cool to watch our group go through it because I took actually one of our legacy groups here in uh, Vero Beach, Florida, through it, and the reaction was tremendous and the discussion was great. And here's a spoiler alert, guys. What it's all about is be nicer and bless others. That is a synopsis of this book. And you know what? It really does work. So we're excited. We want to start unpacking these two words for you right now. So we're going to be back. <laughs> 